Alright people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Tuesday, and that means that we are using uh, Teller Knights. Yep, how about that? Uh, Teller Knights? Yeah, it's, it's clearly Teller Knights. So, uh, um, uh, la 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 la. I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, working on this deck that runs more of the other warriors like Goblinburg and stuff like that. This hand's not the best, but it's not terrible. Just because I can go Goblinburg, Goblinburg, summon the Altair, Altair, I mean, not Altair, you're not going to do anything, you're just being used. Uh, go into a Lavabo Chain, Detach, send uh, Deneb, and then I already have the Altair, and we can get the duel started. So, I'm kind of trying to make this deck, it's more of a fun deck that I am uh, thinking of making just for, you know, fun sake, like going to tournaments and shit. And then you. So I'm still just testing it. I'm going to set this and I'll set. I'll bluff this because this card is not the most useful card. But I really want to keep this just in case shit hits the fan. I can just go, you know, Altair, Altair, send the Deneb, and then if you try to fuck me up, Nova, you know, draw a card. So. Ooh, Mermel. Alright, well, this is gonna. It's gonna be bad then. <laughs> Yep, and he, he hit my my Nova too. I tried to bluff it. I tried to bluff it. I should also put uh, Ptolemyos in here. Yeah, I should put Ptolemyos in here because I can go, you know, Altair, Seven Deneb, you know, go into Ptolemyos, main phase two, slap a diamond on there, and then put the alpha on there. Why not? You know, so. That's how I, I was just I was being too experimental with the action I can and I need to be more focused with it, so I'll go ahead and change that, uh, since he's out here in the TCG now. What do you search for? Pike. Alright, well, you can go ahead and normal summon that, if you want to. Well, alright, you're just gonna summon land, and then you're just gonna dark hole. Okay. I mean, I guess you get land effect, but is that really necessary? I'm gonna Megalo, that's fine. Oh, because you can salvage your cards back, I guess. Like you, you I would have held on held on to that dark hole. There was no reason to go ahead and throw the dark hole at me. Not at all, not at all. But I oh, you could have held on to that card. Oh, of course I draw the Deneb, alright. Uh I'm not sure if I could. The, the, the thing is, I'm not sure if I could take the deal slow. If I could survive one more turn, I'd be in a perfect position, but I don't think I can. I could go Altair, Altair, summon Deneb, Deneb, search for like Vega, and then I can go Vega and Deneb next turn. Uh, I don't know who I'm going to go into this turn. Castell. Yeah, definitely Castell, get rid of that Megalo. If you weren't a fucking Megalo, that's the problem. If it was like anything else on the field, I might even just go all tired and then equip the Alpha. I got I got too impatient. I, I could have waited for the Neb, but well, no, because I searched. I shuffled the deck up. You just hate that. And you're like, man, I, I really wish I had a Neb. <laughs> I'm running two Unukes because it helps the deck's consistency. It's also more search targets later in the door, because it seems like I would eventually just run out of search targets. Oh, well, you'd be a 3,000 beater that can't be destroyed by battle. That wouldn't be terrible. But I can't attack. Yeah, that's the thing. I can't attack. Is it worth it to cast out right now? That's the question. See, this is why I wish I had Vega right now. Or at least another, like, Goblin Bird or something. Because when you just get the two of them, they don't really do much, you know? I guess Castell. So you'd be a 3,000 beater that can't be destroyed by battle. I run two of you now. I guess I'll go into Castell. I can't attack on. Should just get rid of the Megalo before he does anything with it. Like, you know, like see with it. So I know two out of the five cards in his hand right now. It's not looking good for me, not at all. Tell so usually up on resources, but 
down. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and pitch that marksman, go ahead and pop my alpha, which I can't even use right now. No, he had a dragoons. Okay, well that's even worse. <laughs> I can search for a Megalo, then he can special summon Megalo by pitching the Marksman and the Lind, or something else, maybe even a gun at this point. Can't you say, yeah, you can search for a gun. Oh, you're going to get another one. You could have searched for a gun, and then gun, pitch the gun, pitch the Marksman for your Megalo, special summon your Megalo, then Lind would have, oh my god, like, oh, I'm in deep shit. <laughs> I'm in deep shit right here. So Megalo, yep. You could have done that with a gun, though. And then you could have summoned with the gun. Like... See, if I would have opened up with the Deneb, this would do wouldn't be like this, but I didn't. And I didn't get any of my revival cards. Any of them. I run... I run... Call the Haunted. I run Oasis. I run... I even run fucking Warrior Returning Alive, I didn't even get that, so... <laughs> oh, there's Oasis. That's nice. Definitely make use of that. So... I'm probably gonna go ahead and just exit on him. Uh, when I search, I'll have three cards in hand. One, two, next time. Yes, five. Yeah. I said, I'm, I run them revival cards. I run them. And I just never got them. Finally, I get an oasis. It's like, it's like running me bell sometimes, or I get all the monsters, none of the revival. So obviously, he's going to go ahead and chain that abyss sphere. Go ahead, chain it. Doesn't matter because I'm only like feeling anyway, so go ahead and chain that. Summon Lin, your last Lin in your deck, because one's in a graveyard, one's in your hand. And Lin will go ahead and summon whoever, and then you'll be okay because now you're down, so I can't X on you again. Nope. I'll just set the Oasis and I'm going to turn. So, we both have four right now. Who can touch his life points? Alright, uh, just going to throw the Regeki at me. Oh, that's fine. He's getting a little greedy. Yeah, he's getting greedy. He thinks he has this. That's why. That's the only reason I did the Regaki. I mean, there's no reason. See, I'm dueling against someone. He's not even good. Like that's what I'm saying. Like you're just burning through resources and doing unnecessary plays for no reason. So you know what? I really hope I come back and win this duel. Cause at this point, I fucking deserve it. God, I wish I had another fucking Altair. Cause I'm about to lose my Altair. If I didn't play my Altair, I was gonna lose the duel. Ah, I kind of took the. F the first attack and block the second one. That was my bad. I misplayed. I'll give me another Vega. I'll run two now because three was getting really cloggy. Yeah, that was my bad. I misplayed. I could have kept one of them. Should have took the first attack and then played it on the second attack. Oh, thank you. I was like, I was like, well, I do run Warrior Returning Alive, so. <sighs> so I'm gonna go Vega. Wow, and then he just scoops like wow. <laughs> like you were in control of that duel, you had it the entire time, and then you scoop it up. All right, well, let me go tweak the deck a little bit, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Still testing. Uh. Uh. 
one nuke. Wow, once again, I did not get what I wanted, but... And I didn't get a revival either. Like, I didn't get any nukes or any revival once again. Like, what is this? What is this, Dak? Like, why you, why you do this to me? I'm not going to do anything right now. If I had gotten a nuke, the sand would have been fine. If I had gotten the neb, the sand would have been fine. But I need the neb to get the duel started. I'm going against raid raptors. I don't know if we can just chain that. I don't want you to go any farther than that. Oh, but of course you have Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. I forgot about Fuzzy. I always forget about Fuzzy. Ugh, I hate this deck. I don't hate this deck. It's just it's linear. That definitely likes to just do the same plays over and over again. Like this. Especially with Fuzzy now. Especially with Fuzzy. Like before Fuzzy, maybe they would have done something different. But now, it's just like, Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Shit. <laughs> Except now he's a bird. Instead of a bear. Ah, uh, I'll go for Deltaros. Nah, but I'm going to get fucked up by him exceeding. Because he just goes summon, summon... Yeah, you just go summon, summon Xe into like Castell or like one on one and fuck me up. Ah, uh, this is bad. This is bad. I really, 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 really needed that, and I didn't get it. Oh, uh, I guess I can go summon you, summon you, make a level chain, detach, send the Deneb, and then set the Oasis, and activate the Oasis, summon the Deneb. Yeah. Like, I'm running triple nuke right now to help with the consistency. Triple rota, triple neb, doesn't get none of it. Like, wow. Like, I need to open up. I need to open up much better than what I am right now. Because right now, I am not opening up nearly good enough to be dueling against these decks that can easily outpace me if I don't open up well enough. Like, the neb is the focal point of the deck. I've also been thinking of uh, how to hit the deck. How to hit Keller Knights, because I think they're going to get hit this list. It should be this list. I couldn't think of how to do that either. Except I think I got a general idea. I said hitting the Deneb would, would definitely help. Because Deneb, you can't get the duel started until you get Deneb. Like, the duel doesn't even fucking, the party doesn't even start until, until you have Deneb. That is so searchy. Yep, and summon sing, detach, search. Like, look at this. He's so up on resources. So up on resources. Make them all five. And he is about to go into the power play, I'm assuming. Yep, there he is. Static material, then destroy all my special monsters. I take 500, and this card, when this card inflicts bad damage to your opponent, you can target one monster your opponent, which will destroy it. Like, look at this. This man is going so fucking plus right now. Like, can you please stop plussing? <laughs> You're going two plus from me. With two plus from me. No, thank you. That's fine. I'll take it. You got some back row? Wow, no back row. Ooh. You might be getting it now. If you didn't get any back row. He said, Unuk is great early game to get you set up. Late game, not so much. <laughs> so, I can trip him. Yep, I can trip him. Let's go 
ahead and Trev. Trev. And aren't they dark too? Oh my god, I could I could fucking uh I could fucking diamond his ass. You don't need that rank up card. You ain't ranking up. You ain't ranking up shit. I don't feel like really going in, in the diamond though, because I if you kill my Trev or if, if I know of my Trev, I at least get to uh, get my effect. I'm gonna go on the defensive, huh? I guess. Ah, <sighs> so I, I, you know, at this point, I don't know what to talk about because I am on break. Man, I guess I can just kind of update on anything new. The semester is over. Uh, teachers still giving out extra credit and shit. So uh, I ended up getting like over a hundred percent in all of my all three classes. That you don't need, you don't need. Oh, of course, it's fucking fuzzy. It just says period. It's just cars into graveyard. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> that's funny. That is actually, that's actually kind of uh, funny. That did actually happen like that. All right, I'm gonna go Altair, Altair, summon Vega, Vega, summon Deneb. He's the son of Deneb. See, Deneb is the focal point of the deck. The Neb is what keeps you going. Without the Neb, you, you wouldn't be doing shit. You know, what were you doing? Like, Altair, Summon, Vega, XC. Okay, that's all I got, you know. <laughs> so is that readiness? Let's go ahead and go to Deltaros. Now I would like Alpha. Triv. Hmm. Well, there's really no point in summoning Triv back, but there's really no point in summoning anybody else back because I already used their effects. Yeah, I'll summon Triv back. So this man is main decking fucking Black Horn of Heaven. Head ass man. Main decking the Black Horn. Get rid of it. Ephros. I don't know what to talk about. I'm just dueling. Just testing it back out and dueling. So when he when he kills Triv, I won't use effect because I I have to have C materials, right? This card is sent from the graveyard. Why has C materials? And what do you say? This card is sent from the filter graveyard. Just period. Oh, okay. No, that's fine. Is that the one that sends? Yeah. <gasps> Uh, send Mimicry. Mimicry will go ahead and get you your search. Then he can. Yep. Oh! Readiness. I thought you were going to go ahead and search for a nest. Can you search? There's no special summon fuzzy. I think he's out of fuzzies. Fuzzy is like the, the fucking pinnacle of that deck right now. It's so fucking good. That's fine. I don't care. And I said, all you're doing is searching for monsters. You're not really threatening my way of playing right now. Mm-hmm. He, he runs more than one singing? Most of the time people just run one singing. What does that uh, card do? Readiness. In this, this turn, radar monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle. Okay. Yeah, radar monsters you're a graveyard. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Might just trip them. 
Nah, it's not really necessary right now. The Raider Raptor monsters won't be able to be destroyed by battle this turn. That's fine. Since you're gonna go ahead and play this anyway. That's fine. You know, it's not to say there's no point in targeting this because you're just gonna play it anyway. You know? So you can't be destroyed by battle this turn. That's totally fine. I'm up on resources, up on plays, and see, and also all because of the neb. Like the neb just got me back in this duel. If I didn't have the neb, I'd just be in the snuggles. Oh, that's cute. Nice top deck. Ah, uh, well, I'll get Dr. Rose effect. The question is, do I want it though? Because I'm an Unuk. Now I'm an Unuk. Why not? It's not like all he uses right now at this point is a beater. If I got him earlier in the duel, now that's uh, now I now I understand why they run fucking multiple. Plan on Triven next turn anyway. I said I have the Phoenix Train for you. I don't even care if it's in defense. I want you to get nice and comfortable and think you can come back in this duel and I'm gonna fucking just wreck your face. Cause I know what you want to do, so no. I see why you run him early in the duel, because he helps with your consistency. Opening plays, because god I wish I had him opening in the duel. He would have been fucking fan-fucking-tastic if I had him opening in the duel. And like I said, yes, it does give me more targets to search for and keep my resources up. But that was another problem I was having with the deck later in the duel, is that I would run out of search targets. Go ahead and trip you again, put everything back in your hand, and give me my, uh, Venus Chain back, because I want it back. Oh, yep, that's a game. Ah, uh, see? That did neb, though. Oh, wait, you still have your readiness. I was like, oh, yeah, that's a game. Like, oh, right, I forgot about the readiness. That's totally fine. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and go into diamond. Why not? Shine bright like a diamond. Like this duel is over, dude. You top deck dark hole and it didn't save you. Even if you top deck Regeki, it still won't save you. Like this is it. I win. Top deck another dark hole. Whew! Top decking won't save you. It won't save you. Then I'm gonna this card. This this card attack this turn. You can try it one more. Okay. okay. She just join you again. Like that this duel is over. I win. I fucking win. A deck like Raid Raptors keep it constant with resources got out resourced by a better rank four deck, the Inteller Knights. <sighs> Go ahead and play my Warrior Returning Alive. I really like that card. Set. With Unuk helping me with my sending and the uh, high amounts of revival, including the return Warrior Returning Alive, I should be totally fine. Yeah. You know? Don't I have one more Triv? I run triple Triv, right? Yep, alright, good. Because Triple Triv is awesome. I didn't think he was going to top deck. After top decking a Dark Hole, I didn't think he was going to top deck a Dark Hole. <laughs> like, tell me right now, did anybody think that he was going to top deck a Dark Hole after top decking a Dark Hole? No? That's what I thought. Because he did it last turn. The turn before, he just like, draw a Dark Hole. And then he's like, draw a Dark Hole. Like, like, that's it. I win. Top decking won't save you. 
I'm so far up. Like I said, even him drawing the Regeki. I didn't think he was going to draw another Dark Hole, but like I said, even drawing the Regeki wouldn't have saved him. When Regeki can't, top decking Regeki can't save you, then that, that's when you know Duel's pretty much it. Because that's not even taking my background into consideration, which you just keep getting Fiendish Chained over and over again, because I'm recycling my Fiendish Chain over and over again with Triv. That's it. I exacerbated your resource, you have nothing left. Game. Uh, so that golden and tell of all chain something that didn't have just got the just got the ball rolling on that duel if i didn't do that i was probably gonna lose so thank you of all chain and that's the reason why i want you because i need the in the graveyard so i think after playing the deck i think i know what to hit i can't really predict what konami's gonna do but i think i know what to hit and i'm definitely looking at you triv because triple triv right now is ridiculous even double chain i think i think trip should go down to one yeah trip should probably go down to one because fucking Triple Triv is stupid. Triple Triv is just dumb. <laughs> like, one. One. It's not ban worthy. One. So, uh, I don't even know what to call this. Just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to call this video. Yeah, I said, I wanted to run the, uh, the, like, the, the Goblin Bergs and, like, the Butterflies to help out, but they don't really help. I guess they help go into a uh, level chain but you know i didn't even go into number six once so i probably cut them out and maybe i don't know throw some background here i don't know i don't know just playing the deck <laughs> just playing really just playing the deck for fun <laughs> so i guess i'll go ahead and uh, call it a video so like i said i don't even know what to name this video just first day of summer break and i don't know what to talk about <laughs> first day of break so well, I guess, I don't know, I just need consistency, <laughs> I need the consistency, I, I think I know what to hit for this deck, so I guess I'll call it, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels despite that, so thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow with Cleese, alright people, thanks for watching.